salsa is one of the most popular Latin dances practiced worldwide today. And Cuban salsa is one of the most popular styles, making it the number one choice for salsa beginners. So Cuban, Cuban style is like a more, for me, is more free, you know? You don't need to be a professional dancer to dance a Cuban style. Um, and also, like when I see people dance Cuban style, I see very happy faces. To learn more about the charm of salsa and why it's getting so popular in China, today I'm going to take a class here at Sassoon Cuban Dance School. The lessons are divided into different levels. I chose one of the easiest to start out, basic body rhythm. The moves seems quite simple at first, but after trying, I find it very hard to make the movements look natural and relaxed. Although it's my first time already falling in love with salsa, for me it's not the dance moves that matters, but the mood. The dance school says 20% of its students are foreigners who work in China, and the rest are mainly white-collar workers in Beijing. Some call me search of culture, knowing that Cuban dance and music are famous around the world. Others find salsa a good way to keep fit and get some exercise after work. Attending, attending the salsa class make my you know, um, time after work uh, very excited and we have a lot of friends together, so super happy. This part of Cuban salsa especially is more natural and make you feel really um, be yourself and nothing um, limited yourself. Because it's dynamic and the teachers look like they really enjoy the music. It's good to move our bodies with other people. And it's very beautiful to uh, move with somebody. Uh, it, it's, you know, a dance is something that's with two people. And uh, salsa, yeah, it's one of those, it's very romantic. To better promote salsa and Cuban culture, the dance school also holds flash mob activities. Earlier this year, a flash mob dance by dozens of their students in Beijing wild passerbys. They applauded and asked for an encore. I feel very happy because dancing is my dream. I always want to dance every time, so I cannot imagine myself without listening to music and moving, move my body. So when I see other people also having fun and enjoy what I really love to do, for me it's like a my god <laughs> it's like everything you know dance is like a, an exercise and it's a therapy you know if you feel maybe you know happy so you calm dance and you forget everything it's a very nice in order to give students the opportunity to learn from others and show off their achievements a dance party is held every saturday <laughs> Our party is called A Night in Havana. People can imagine that they're dancing in Havana. We also provide mojitos, a drink from Cuba. Especially due to the pandemic, people cannot travel abroad, so it's fun to come here and dance. Now I'm going to try out the dance floor with moves I pick up from only one class, but hey, it's all about enjoying the music and having a good time, right? <laughs> each party, there will be an interactive time, where dance instructors and those attending the party dance together to lively music, so everyone, no matter if they know how to dance or not, can participate in the cheerful rhythm and fun. Of course, salsa steps and their combinations are best present through couples dance. Instructor Carlos guided me through some basic moves. He said it's important to trust him and just follow his lead without trying to guess the next move something I should really work on in the future. A fun and vigorous social activity. For many, salsa is not only a dance style, but also a way of communication and expression of culture. Ding Xue, CGTN, Beijing.